Castro and you're watching Leaders with a Mission and today I have someone amazing who I know you have seen in the Food Network. His name is Chris Valdez and let me tell you a little bit about him. A native of Miami, Chris Valdez has created a fun approach to the kitchen. He fuses Caribbean flavors with modern influences to create thought-provoking dishes that are easy to make. He has a relentless drive to share and innovate with recipes that have led him to the Food Network on Food Network Stars, becoming a finalist on season 14. As a creator, he has also embarked on his own very successful YouTube series, Cooking with Chris, now entering its fourth season. Chris has been featured on the covers of several magazines and in local newspapers in Miami, not only because of his amazing talent as a chef, but also because he is a force of good in the world. And with you, Chris Valdez. I'm so excited to be here. I'm so excited to have you here, finally. Yes, finally. I invited you for the first two seasons and you couldn't make yes, it. Yes, yes, yes. And I think, um, you know, a lot of the viewers that see my videos, something that they don't know is that you actually help me produce my videos and you direct them with me and you come up, you know, with the, with the little storylines and whatnot and dressing up like Batman. So I think uh, that's a fun little fact for people to see. I know, I really yeah. enjoy working with you. Thank you, I enjoy working with you. I'm so ready for the fourth season. I am ready too. <laughs> I am just so looking forward for the amazing food because like when you're doing that kind of filming, you guys make beautiful food and then we go back to back to back, but we get to eat all the amazing <laughs> food and you guys are just working, working, working. Who so. doesn't love to eat? And you, you love to eat, so. I was just telling Eileen when um, I was <laughs> talking to her, I was telling her, you don't understand, if I would have that avocado ice cream in my fridge, um, it would not be pretty right now because that thing is addicting. Yes, it's very addicting. The avocado chocolate ice cream uh, that we did last year, it was whew, delicious. I so I want to ask you because this show is about leaders with a mission. And something that really, really resonated with me is that you were not just okay by being just another chef you actually are driven and you want to make a difference. You do things that are completely different from a lot of other people. So I want you to tell me what is your personal definition of leadership? My personal definition of leadership, I think everyone's definition is going to be different based on either their childhood or something. In my case, I had a little bumpiness of a childhood, but I also had uh, some insightful moments. So during that journey that I went through, I realized that I, you know, I didn't want to be like other people. I wanted to be myself. People ask me, how do you get ready? I'm like, oh, I stand in the mirror and I say, you are the best. You are, no, no, no. It's just me. So I think that um, throughout the journey, throughout the way, uh, one of the things that I did is I wanted, I promised myself that I was going to be myself and offer that people because I'm funny. I make fun of myself. I'm a goofball. I mess up the kitchen. I make a huge mess. Um, sometimes I speak Spanish when I'm supposed to be speaking English. I like to dress up. I like to, to put humor out there. So I feel that that's what leadership is. Leadership is not being afraid of what you have to offer and putting it on a plate for others to take and take inspiration from and take motivation from. And that's what real leaders do, either as an entrepreneur or um, in my other job as a, as a TV persona. I love it because I think in a nutshell, what you're saying is more of like be a, a, someone who's authentic, which is kind of what you're saying. And don't be afraid of being authentic because, como dice mami, hay gustos para todos los colores or something yeah, like that. Yeah. She says it so many times, I forget. Um, but everyone, there's a, there's a market and a viewer for everyone. Like, don't be afraid to be who you are. Put yourself out there. If they like it, good. If they don't like it, they don't like it. Yeah. But as long as you like it and you're legit and you feel good with what you're putting out, that's all you have to worry about. I love it. I think that's great for all these kids that are trying to use social media to make an impact. But what I often see is that they're not themselves. They right. want to be somebody else. They right. want to kind of replicate somebody else's right. persona. And I think that's a big mistake that, yes. that happens. Tell me about your childhood. I know you mentioned it in a little bit. How did that actually help you put the stepping stones for your journey in leadership? Right, so after, after we lose our home, after we lose our, our family, after we lose everything we had built building, I was about 10 years old and we moved, uh, we went from living in this huge home to living in this small apartment. 
and I was flipping through the channels. Uh, you know, I had nothing else to do. My father wasn't around. My brother wasn't around. I had no one to bother. So I'm like, let me let me flip through the channels and let me see what I found. And I found this man. He goes, bam! And I'm like, whoa! And I felt something in here. Mm -hmm. And I kept watching and I felt something in here. And at the time, I see a whole bunch of people surrounded by me, even though I can't see myself, but I see flashing lights and I see people, hey, hey, you, you. And I'm like, what in the world am I seeing? Like, am I going crazy already? So I kept watching the show every day at the same time, 7 p.m. And then eventually by the following week, I made my first dish, arroz con pollo. Um, I made it all by myself. I went downstairs with the little uh, quarters I had and I bought everything and I surprised my mom. And I remember when she gets uh, home, she's like, who made this? I'm like, I made it, mom, I made it. Emerald helped me. Quien es Emerald? I'm like, oh, mom, Emerald, you bam. And she, who's inside the house? I'm like, no, I made it. And I sat her down at seven o'clock and we ate the meal together while we watched TV. And I feel that, um, see, in a dark moment, I feel that that precise moment was when I realized that I wanted to be a chef and not only that but that I wanted to inspire I wanted to be the inspiration that I saw through a TV and I wanted to be just like him I wanted to shoot a whole bunch of love uh, for something I just discovered that I loved food and entertainment through a TV just like my uh, mentor Emerald was doing that's so amazing yeah. I love that story because I usually say this a lot because I am a big believer in Napoleon Hill when he says that your failures on your or your pain in life is a seed to your success. And I agree. It's just so beautiful because at that dark moment in your life, that angel showed up in the right moment, in the right place Definitely. to actually make a difference in your life. Like you probably would have gone a completely different route if you would have never seen this pow moment that right. you mentioned and that it give you a vision like what you're saying like I saw all these lights and I saw it was kind of like you traveled in time I did and you actually made your universe you created your own reality it, fun fact uh, when I meet him for the first time I am quiet mm -hmm. but it, outside I am quiet inside I'm like thank you for this and thank you for this and thank you for this I can't believe I'm at the South Beach Food and Wine Festival just like you and thank you for this and thank you for this I made it to the Food Network and he's just quiet he's like what's your name I'm like and I'm just thank you thank you thank you thank you and at the end my friends are like what did you talk about I'm like oh I thanked him for everything they're like but we didn't see you talk I'm like oh in my head I thanked him for everything so I don't want to look like a creep yeah you know? so I was just like and then when, he, when I open the book and I see it signed, I'm like, oh, sh he signed my book. Uh, so I didn't even realize. I was just thanking him. Uh, and it was just a moment of thank you for being there for me um, when I needed someone. And people think that uh, mentors is someone that sits next to you or someone that, you know, you're close. No, no, no. A mentor could be anyone as long as they could transmit uh, inspiration and they could transmit information that you might need at the time that could be a mentor that's why they say that uh, celebrities be careful what you do because there's so many people watching um, that will, are willing to follow your footsteps so you have a power you have a light and at that time uh, he transmitted something to me God knows he was probably in New York and I was in Hialeah so <laughs> you know and 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 that's the magical part of it so I'm forever grateful of that that magic and that power is something that for me being in a medium where we like as a producer as a creator of content it's just too powerful it's too powerful to deny people from that light right. if you have something to share cameras and video allows you to magnify that voice and by you jumping into your role of leadership owning that dream and creating your own youtube show and creating your own path to that what you saw from when you were a little kid is just extremely like, i'm inspired by it yeah. i'm inspired because you you did not let circumstances dictate your reality no. even though a lot of things that people would have been like you're crazy or how are you gonna afford that or you know all of this and which are all but, things that did happen you know yes and they always happen yeah they, they they always happen and um another thing that you know um hit me uh, an obstacle i had to face when doing what I'm doing now is that I'm like, I want to be like Emerald, but my own version of it. I'm like, but that's, I look at Emerald like this and I'm like, how do I make that happen? 
And then you think about what people are going to say and, you know, they're going to say, what if they don't like my food? What if they don't like how I smile? What if they don't like how I pose? What if they think I'm too cheesy? What if they think, why am I dressing up as Batman? What if they think if, if I'm, I'm a train wreck, you know? Um, so there was all these what ifs um, like in my suit for the job. And for ton, like many years, I, I didn't think I was suitable. I didn't think I was right for, for, the, for the job. You know, I looked at my idol, and even though he was inspiring me and, and, and mentoring me, you know, through, and, the and, through, through yeah, TV. I, I'm like, can I really do this? And it took me a while. And along with my life coach, one day I woke up and I'm like, I'm going to do it. I'm qualified. I'm ready. And Giving your own self permission to go ahead. Which I think is sometimes um, very important. You know, we have everyone's permission. Yeah, yeah, you could do it. But I always say, I don't care what people think. I care what I think about myself and what I have to say. And if I say, yes, I like it, I don't like it, or I'm ready, that means, yes, I like it, I don't like it, I'm ready. And at the moment, I said, I'm ready. I literally opened my eyes and I'm like, I'm ready. <laughs> like, I don't know what that meant, but I started doing everything I could possibly do to make it happen. So it's, it wasn't just overnight. It was, yeah. it was years of thoughts and, you know, and working towards it. I remember with my life coach, I'm like, and my acting teacher, I'm like, I'm afraid of the little red light when the cameras, it says, you know, action. I'm like, I just stand like that. Frozen. Yeah. So I wanted to ask you, based on what you just told me, what things have actually made a difference from where you started to now? Like, is there people that you've hired or placed around you or is there programs or inspiration sources what has helped you to make sure that you get to your goals fast i think i think uh, yes i i do have the right people um i have my manager that she's always with me um and she's a huge supporter of everything i do i have my assistant she's crazy just like me so it, it creates a bigger bomb i have great people that work with us like my favorite photographers like my favorite production companies um you know so uh, yes i have a stylist and but I, I think the one thing that I feed off the most, um, there's, there's two of them, because remember I, I do the entrepreneur side and, and I do the entertainment side. One of them is when somebody eats your food and you create a lasting impression in what they eat, that sometimes they don't remember you, but they remember what they're eating. So uh, sometimes people will eat and they're like, and it's just like this moment where they just stare at you. Dun, dun, dun. It's like the ratatouille moment, yes, I call it. Yes, So I feel that um, that's price, as a chef, that's priceless for me because, you know, my job is to, to create magic. Uh, one of my jobs is to create magic on a dish. So when that magic happens for you, you feel accomplished. Next. So there's that one. And then the next love I get is um, just... All the love I get from social media, uh, from comments, from messages, from the fans, it, it's just, it's a love that not many people get to experience for all these strangers to be messaging you, how is your day? I love this recipe. I love this video. I love what you wore. I love the, 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 the shoes that you have. I love what you did in the community. It was so nice to meet you this weekend. And all of this pouring extra love that you're like, where is this coming from? It's just like, it, it really motivates you and it tells you that people are listening and people, uh, it's like automatic feedback. And you're like, this is why I do this and this is why I wanna do more of it. So it's just like, keep going, keep going, keep going. Like, look at all these people that like, and then you get more and you're like, yeah, 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 like, more, more, let's go. Let's put out more content. Let's put out more of the videos. They love it. So I think, I think that, that is it right there. It feeds, it feeds the, um, it keeps the energy moving forward. Of course, and it's such a beautiful energy. And I want to kind of like, I was laughing a little bit ago because something really funny happened. Yes. So Sophia, my daughter, it's our, one of our photographers here um, when we're doing um, video because she likes photography. Very she, important, she seven-year-old daughter. She's a seven-year-old. <laughs> she's my seven-year-old. And she's taking pictures behind the scenes. And she had seen um, Chris a while ago when we went to one of his events and she was mesmerized about the food. And Chris arrives today to set and Chris goes to her, so you remember me? And she's like, well, not really, but I remember your food is really good. So it was kind of Ouch. <laughs> I'm like, are you sure? How could you remember the food and not me? She's like, it was very good. I'm like, but I cooked it. I cooked it. And she's like, well, 
Your food was good. So when you said that, when, when they remember okay. your food, but yeah, not I'm necessarily. Like, yeah, but I, I'm like, I, you know, it happens. <laughs> At least she remembered something. Sorry, Chris. We have to give her more fish oil so that she has a better <laughs> memory. <laughs> <laughs> FYI. Anyways, um, one of my last questions is: I know you're also an entrepreneur. You don't only have your, you know, your YouTube channel and things. What has been things that has helped you move forward? Like, is there anything that you have struggled with as an entrepreneur that you have learned from to grow to be a better entrepreneur? I think as an entrepreneur or uh, as a businessman, there's always going to be struggles and there's always going to be something, uh, a new obstacle, and then there's always going to be something new to learn. The day you're not learning anything as a businessman, uh, that's the time for you to retire or go find another job. So there is something you're always learning. There's something I'm always learning. There's something new I'm always trying to work out as a businessman. You always want to make more and more and more. Because um, nobody says, hey, I'm going to suck today as an entrepreneur, you know, so nope. no. Um, so I have I have been, you know, in the past eight years with my company, I have gone through my share of obstacles. You know, I think what's important is to know that, you know, you're in control. So one of my favorite quotes from Oprah Winfrey is, if it doesn't work, fix it. And sometimes we break our heads. And we're like, how do I fix it? It's just simple. Stop what you're doing. It's not working, understand that. What could we do differently? Okay, beating up our heads about it is not gonna work. So what can I do differently to change the sale? Let me go by here. If it doesn't work, let's try it by here. But some way it has to work and it, you won't know about it until you try it out. And if you just apply some new knowledge or you, you, you learn something or you're willing to be open to new ideas as an entrepreneur, I think you're gonna be in business for a while. It's those that close their minds and that they want to stay stuck with the same routine or the same platform that they created. It's not going to work. Why? Because times change. People change. Things change. Uh, before, it was about selling cassettes. Then it was about CDs. Now it's about you doing crazy videos on, on Instagram and, and selling through videos and views and things like that. You know, so times change. And those that don't change along with it, you stay stuck behind. So. Yeah, if you don't adapt, if you're not willing to innovate, then you're going to become irrelevant really, really fast. Which applies for entrepreneurs and applies for artists as well. It, and it applies, everyone. It's yeah. a universal It's a universal yeah. thought. Okay, so for the last question, how do you want to be remembered? What kind of legacy do you want to leave in this world? What type of legacy do I want to leave in this world? You know, I feel that the most important ingredient in what I do, and I feel that the most important ingredient in life is love. So with anything I do or with any legacy I leave, I want to make sure it's filled with me and it's filled with tons of love. Love through my dishes, love through my recipes, love through anything I do because love is something that's everlasting. It'll stay there forever. Um, and I feel that that love that Emerald gave me and that he left in here, um, that's the type of legacy I want to leave. I don't want to leave a statue. I don't want to leave yeah. Uh, uh, you know, uh, Material I, uh, yes, no, I want to leave something that's priceless Whatever and it's love. I love it. Yes. Thank you, Chris, for being here, it's for taking honor. time yeah. out of your busy schedule um, to, to join us. And, you know, um, congratulations on your success on the network, on the food network and congratulations on all the things that you're doing to help the community. Like you went to Puerto Rico, you actually are doing things for the community that not a lot of people are stepping up to the plate. It's very important to give back because, um, you know, I remember at times uh, people gave back to me. So always important that when you have a leadership role to spread some of that love, to spread and give back because that's the only way that you'll get some of it back to give even more and to reach more people. And congratulations on you and what you're doing. Uh, this Leaders with a Mission, a platform that you have done is very, very, very special. And thank you so much for all the love you put into the videos you helped me create along with your production. I'm forever thankful. Thank you so much for being a great friend. Thank you, honey. So if you felt inspired by Chris, I invite you to visit him at his website. Chris, where can we find you? Chefchrisvaldez.com. Awesome. And for those of you who are looking to make a bigger impact in the world, I'm going to invite you to visit us at fourproductions.com, where if you subscribe, you'll receive weekly updates on how to use your voice and video to make a bigger impact in the world. Till next time.